Hello, hello everyone. Good afternoon. It's what, 12.06 here in sunny South Florida. Just waiting for everybody to come on. Want to chat a bit. So much going on. So I want to chat with my amazing followers. Hello, hello. It's 12.06 here and it is so warm. Actually, it's 79 degrees and it's great. And I said, let me get on here and chat with my beautiful followers, beautiful supporters. How are you guys? Type in the in the uh, comments where you're visiting from, where you're located already. We've been on for a few seconds and we have over 50 people, now 60s. So note in the chat room where you're visiting from, where you're coming on from, because I want to see you where you're located. So I'm on my way to Whole Foods store to buy some cauliflower rice because I don't want to eat any more of the regular rice because it's so much carbs. And you know, as ladies, the carbs sit right in the midsection, right? So I'm eating healthier and I discovered the cauliflower rice. It is so delicious once you season it. Hey, Sharon from Texas. Philomene from DR, Congo in Africa. Abigail from Ghana. Emily from Nigeria. Okay, Nigeria's in the house. Hey, ladies. Hi. Okay. You know, this is Jackie Vernon Thompson, your etiquette consultant. And I just want to thank you all so much. I'm at a red light. So I just want to thank you all so much for supporting and consistently coming on the page and commenting and registering for workshops. Yes, we are open now for in-person classes. Carol from Ireland, hello. We're open for in-person classes. We've always been available for virtual classes. Now we're adding again our in-person classes. Since we somewhat know how to conduct ourselves in public, wearing our mask, I wear my mask and shield and any student in person will wear their mask and we provide a brand new clean, totally clean shield and gloves so that once they're having probably the table etiquette class, they're not touching all of the utensils and the plates and so forth. They have the gloves so when they're finished, they just rip those gloves off and toss them and everybody is safe. Hey, Zita from Barbados. Yes. All right. We have Flora from Zimbabwe. Hey. Hi, Keisha in South Kakalaki, South Carolina. <laughs> it's so awesome to have you all on today. All right. So, yes, we are open for in-person classes. And it's such a big buzz. Etiquette discussing etiquette and learning different things. I know that I've had a lot of pushback when I post uh, videos about dining with utensils. I get a lot of pushback and I don't understand that. Um, eating with knife and fork, it's just the more uh, proper way to do things. Yes, some people may be used to eating with their hands However, I think it's our responsibility to arm ourselves with education and different skills so that when we're in a different environment, differently from our known and local culture, we can function and be competitive. Yes, some of you may be used to eating with your hands, and I understand that because there's different etiquette protocols in different cultures. Hey, Tamika from Jamaica, what wow, girl? <laughs> okay, I know there are different cultures that uh, allows you to do things, but listen, suppose you receive a job opportunity in a different culture, like in, in America or in Europe, you definitely can't come to America and eat with your hands. So it's important for you to learn the different way of eating, the different way of dining, 
so that when you're outside of your culture, you can function in an opt at an optimum level and so you'd be open for all the opportunities. So I encourage those who push back uh, learning how to dine with knife and fork, I encourage you to embrace the lesson and add it to your profile, add it to the skills that you have so that you'll be able to excel in every environment. That's what it's about. Etiquette is about refining yourself so that you'll be well-rounded. Whatever environment you're in, you'll be able to function. That's what it's about. Be open to learning something new. I've had, in the recent week, I've had some really rude and improper etiquette responses and um, just some negative responses. And it, the negativity becomes infectious so others that come on the video, that view the video and comment, they piggyback on the negativity and the people who discourage learning something new. That's not good. Proper etiquette is being polite, especially on an etiquette page, right? I know you all will agree. So type on there, I agree or something. Let me know how you feel about me teaching everybody to do something differently. Hi, Dumas from New Jersey. Woo! Lee said, very true. Carla, work is necessary. Yes. Um, Henrietta, sure, ma'am. Sure, mom. Yes, absolutely. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's be open to learning something new because there are always opportunities out there. Newsflash, opportunities don't die. If you're not ready to take the opportunity, it simply moves on to the next person who is ready to take those opportunities. They don't die, they simply move on to the next person. So if you are stuck in your culture and refuse to learn different cultures, then you will be stuck where you are. You will not be able to function in other environments. So do yourself a favor and try to embrace the different protocols that I'm freely offering to everyone so that we all can excel and we all can be great, right? I agree, you agree? Yes, that's true, sis. Sherlyn, yes, absolutely. We all wanna grow and we all wanna be great together, all right? Now, March 25th, I think it is March 19th or something like that. Uh, in mid-March, we have another certification class that's going to start and it's such an awesome class because we have so many people who have a registered so many people who have been certified to teach etiquette okay so it's so important if you have the desire or if you feel it's your passion or purpose to teach proper etiquette Henrietta from UK hey if you feel it's your desire to teach proper etiquette, then join our class. Join the class, it's a five week master class where I meet with you personally. It's not an online class where you're gonna go from module to module and learn this and learn that and not have your questions answered immediately. It is a live class via Zoom. Every class is via Zoom with me and you're able to dialogue with me. Kel says, I love your tips. Thank you. You're very welcome. It is my pleasure. Uh, Alita, you're awesome at what you do. Thank you so much. Between prayer and practice and educating myself and having an open mind, I really, uh, I don't want to say I do things awesome. I just do my very best because it's not me. It's God working through me. And so I am so grateful that I have the opportunity to teach the masses and help everyone improve and uh, just, just do what I have to do. So yeah, so our certification class starts in mid-March. I'll be posting the actual date, but you can register anytime on our website at www.fromtheinsideout uh, soe.com. Will someone please type that for me in the comments because I'm in my car. 
from the inside out s o e dot com and that's where you can go and register and simply click on become certified and we get you started in our live class that begins in March I we really need to get everybody involved how do I join please Henrietta yes go to our website www from the inside out soe dot com and remember soe is the acronym for school of etiquette thank you so much can't pronounce your name you daca bong <laughs> beautiful name but i can't pronounce it but thank you for putting up our website and we learned so many things scarlet in haiti thank you so much for joining we learned you you will learn so many things everything about table etiquette I know I post random, thank you Stacy. thank you Chantel. I know I post random videos of different protocols, but during our five week masterclass, you will learn the protocols in a formal way. Everything is structured step by step and you will learn along with other ladies. Thank you Stacy. along with other ladies. It's just an amazing camaraderie. It's an, it's an amazing community. And not only that, you are able to join our private community. Michelle and Kel, thank you for posting the website. Awesome. Yeah, you, we have a private Facebook community of just etiquette consultants. And you'll be able to join them as well. And we feed off of each other. We encourage each other. We motivate each other. We share different ideas on how to establish and how to maintain your etiquette business. Gerlin, I love your etiquette videos. Thank you so much. Stella, I can attest to that. Jackie is a great facilitator. Yes, Stella is one of my etiquette consultants over there in Africa. I love it. Thank you, Stella. You're awesome. All right, so ladies, let's get on. And we even want our gentlemen because we want our gentlemen to be very effective with our young men. Even though we teach young men, we teach boys as well, we still want to be able to have those men connect with the gen with the young men, okay? So that's really important. Aletha, my little daughter and I always watch your videos. I want her to learn formal protocols when she's older. Actually, she should learn formal protocols now so that when she has those opportunities in her older years, she'll be able to freely, with confidence, just grab onto those opportunities because she knows how to conduct herself out there in public. That's awesome. So great job, Aletha. Belinda, I'm new. Tell us more. Yes! Belinda, we're so happy that you're on. It's all things etiquette. We want to learn as much as we can so that we can function in any environment in our culture and outside of our culture. And incidentally, we're not traveling much these days, but if you travel into another culture, it is your responsibility as a well-rounded person to do some research, head out to head over to Google, do some research on finding out how to conduct yourself in this environment. What do you do when you're dining? For example, when you head over to UK, and I know some of you from UK are on here. If you head over to UK and uh, for some reason you get the opportunity to meet the queen, there are protocols with that. I'm not bigging her up because she's no better than anybody else. No one is any better than any other person. We're all human beings just doing what we do in life. But there are different protocols in different environments. So you would do research. You would know that, of course, you don't extend your hand to shake her hand, the queen's hand, unless she, unless she extends her hand. You don't touch her. There are different things that you do. Of course, again, I don't praise her because she's just another human being, but I respect her. I respect the President of the United States. I respect anyone who has status, and I respect people in general. We must do that. So learn different etiquette protocols in different cultures so that you can blossom in every culture. I know you would agree. So let me know what you feel or how you feel about this advice I'm giving you. Farida, love from Canada. Thank you so much. 
It's awesome to have you. All right, so here's what I'd like to do as I talk about our upcoming certification class. I want you guys, you ladies, to post any etiquette question that you may have. Any etiquette question you may have, just post it and uh, type it, and I will try my best to address it. So yeah, mid-March, our next online five-week master class to certify individuals who want to teach etiquette and start an etiquette business. And trust me, there is money in it. You not only want to teach people to improve their behavior, but of course you want to make a, a living. So there is proper income to make a living and pay your bills and experience autonomy. So, which is freedom, of course. So we want to make sure that we get our ladies and our gentlemen into our class. So head over to my website, from the inside out, soe.com, click on become certified and get certified. Even if you're not able to invest fully, there is a payment plan of five payments, five payments. So there's no strain, five small payments to cover it. So there's no strain, there's no stress. And over the period of time, our five weeks, you're able to make a payment here and there. So there's no stress. Uh, Gerlin, what's included in the class uh, or how can I find the information? Head over to our website, all of the information is there. During our class, I'll just give you a summary. During our class, we're going to learn all things table etiquette, European style, American style, all of the protocols that come along with it that you all do not see on Facebook page. Uh, you will learn also sitting and walking gracefully, all the protocols with that, um, uh, shivery, all the protocols with that, greeting and communicating effectively. You will learn how to te teach children as opposed to adults and vice versa. You will learn how to create presentable, interactive, fun PowerPoint presentations because that's primarily how you will teach, especially when you're doing your virtual classes. You will learn how to conduct classes on Zoom. That's major. So there is a whole segment on conducting your classes via Zoom and knowing how to use all the features. You will learn about business etiquette and all the protocols. Oh my gosh, there's so much to learn. And it's five weeks, Mondays and Thursdays, evening at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everything is via Zoom and it's live with me. Mary said, I love you, Jackie. Thank you, honey. You're a sweet spirit. I've learned a lot from your videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. Much love from Kenya, and you're most welcome. I love Africa. Yes, Tulana, Tulani, love from South Florida, South Africa. <laughs> Belen, I'm loving this. Thank you. I'll keep following. Wonderful. Keep doing a good job. Elizabeth, sign up for the class now. It is life changing. Thank you, Elizabeth. Mrs. Jackie is the best. You rock too, Liz. All right, all right. Catherine, Catherine, you're right. We live in a diverse world where education is inevitable. Absolutely, education is inevitable. However, you've gotta be open for, for education. That's the key. Love from Nigeria, Marion, yes. Nadine, amen. Respect royal protocols. My daughter and I watch you from London, England, yes. She pulls me out when I'm slipping. <laughs> Good girl. That's so awesome, Nadine. All right, so post your questions. Post your questions. Nadine, very interested. Yes, please go ahead and register. www.fromtheinsideoutsoe.com and click on Become Certified. Dumas, when someone hates on you, it's usually because they're unhappy in their own lives. That means don't even bother with them when do you have to talk okay so we don't use profanity on our page at all no profanity we use our words and we're all just kind we just want to be kind there's too much unkindness uh there's too much bitterness in the world for us to come on an uh, etiquette page and just be mean so you're absolutely right dumas we just ignore those people 
uh, who are being mean and those people who are saying, who needs to do that? Who, who, who needs to eat with a knife and fork? They just don't understand the dynamic of improvement. Stacy from Michigan, hey girl. Girlin, teach how to dress and seat like a lady. All over the page. Dumas, great job, hon. Just remember the other people that love you. I love my followers. You are just amazing, all of you. Marlene from Trinidad and Tobago in the West Indies. Yes, you're welcome, my pleasure. All right, let's get some etiquette questions. I always share your videos here in Michigan. Thank you so much, Stacy English. All right, get some questions. My question is, is it okay to maintain your own, your own cultural attire in a new environment? E.g., as a Nigerian visiting Dubai, putting on my eyesight, okay, wear and cap. Yes, if it is your culture, of course, of course. Now, the, the difference when it comes to dressing is to make sure that your dress doesn't offend someone, meaning you're not revealing everything, okay? Uh, we're not revealing all that we have, all the voluptuous stuff we have. But for example, the Muslim culture, there are many Muslim in America, um, uh, Muslim women, men in America, and the women have to wear, have to cover up and stuff like that. And that's understandable because that's their culture. Okay. That should not offend anyone. That's their culture. We've got to respect culture. However, if somebody is walking around half naked, now that's a problem. <laughs> All right. Stacy, question, is it proper etiquette for ladies to show their crouch mm, area when wearing leggings and tight clothing? Absolutely not. It is not proper etiquette. We're in a culture when everybody is wearing tights and they're wearing it as if it's regular pants. And that's not okay because sometimes their underwears are revealed in the back. And that's why when you get dressed, ladies, you look at the front, your sides, your back, you make sure you do that 360 in the mirror to ensure that your appearance is not going to offend someone. So no, it's not okay. In America, they call it, uh, you know, Stacy, they call it uh, camel toe. Okay, we don't do that. <laughs> so make sure whatever you're wearing at the crotch area, ladies, and we're all girls, we could talk and we're adults, Whatever you're wearing at the crotch area is not so tight that it shows the imprint. That's not okay, all right? So loosen up a little and make sure your underwears are not showing. Make sure your tights are not so tight that even in the back, it's like that split in your rear end is just right there and obvious. That's not cute. Absolutely not, okay? Uh, Esther, I've learned a lot from you all the way from Nigeria. Wonderful, Stacy. It looks disgusting. <laughs> Leggings showing your private area. Camel toe. Yes, Stacy, you know what I'm talking about. Ask Steve Harvey and my, Ricky Smiley. Um, uh, yeah, we don't want to do that. So it's important, ladies, that you... I'm going to drop this nugget before I run because I need to head into Whole Foods. Before you exit your home, ladies, and of course for gentlemen, ask yourself, which, what message is my attire, my clothes telling the public? Is it saying that I respect myself? Is it saying I respect you? Or is it saying I don't care, I just threw something on and I don't care what anyone says? That's the wrong attitude to have. Again, we need people to grow. We need people to excel in life. So the way we appear to the public tells the public how to treat us. So let me break it down a little more. The public will treat you the way they perceive you. So if they see that you are respectful simply by how you appear to the public, then they will open doors of opportunities for you. But if they see that you do not respect yourself because you did not take the time to groom your hair, you didn't take the time to dress properly, then they will not give you opportunities. You will be stuck in your box. It's that serious. So even if you're going to Publix, you're going to Walmart, you're going to Whole Foods, which I'm going into now, you're going to the drugstore, there are CEOs who shop in those stores. 
There are people who are looking for employees who shop in those stores. There are business owners who are looking for other businesses to collaborate with. But if you're a business owner and you're in a store, you're out in public looking a hot mess, trust me, nobody's going to want to do business with you because clearly you do not care. So keep in mind, before you exit your home, ask yourself, what message is this sending to the public? And if you're honest with yourself, you would, uh, you would say, no, this isn't a good message. Or, yeah, I'm good. I'm ready for opportunities. That's what I do. That's what any refined individual would do. Okay? I know there are a lot of comments. So let's go back so we could hear uh, what Celeste. I'm from Mo ugh, Mozambique, Africa. My question is, what to wear on your first date to get a good impression? On your first date, I'm sure you are a lady. So you dress like a lady. Do not show all this cleavage. Do not wear the short, short dresses or skirts. Dress appropriately like a lady so the gentleman will immediately respect you. So he would be interested in what's in your head and not what he can get from your body. You deserve more than that. But again, your dress, your appearance, tells the person or the people how to treat you. He will either step to you with, what's up, ma? Or he will say, hello, how are you? It's so good to see you. The way you appear to him will tell him how to treat you, okay? That's it in a nutshell. I hope that answered your question, Celeste. Oh my God. Oh, how to dress. Stacy, right? Thank you. I'll be joining your March session. Absolutely. Yay. Annette Hall. I've learned so much about how we should sit as women and I've been imparting to my nieces. Way to go, Annette. That's awesome. Marlene, what message does my attire carry to the public? Good introspection. Yes, absolutely. We want to make sure that we understand that people treat you the way they perceive you. If they see you, remember when we are in certain environments, we don't have the opportunity to literally speak to people to let them know how intelligent we are or not. They simply see our appearance. That's the first thing people see and they judge whether they want to interact with you from that appearance or not. We're not, judging is wrong, but it's a reality. It happens every day. And if you're honest with yourself, you judge as well. Okay, Zeta agreed, yes. Angie, is it okay to go out in sweatpants that are de that are decent? Sometimes I just need to let loose and a little bit. Absolutely, I'm in a sweatsuit right now. A cute sweatsuit. <laughs> but of course, hang out in your jeans, in your shorts, but making sure your shorts are not so short that they're revealing things that are not supposed to be revealed, your shorts should be at least two inches down from the crotch area, okay? So yeah, wear your jeans. I wear jeans sometimes, cut up jeans, but the, the hole, the design hole should not be so far up where it's revealing the crotch area. We just have to be conscious of everything. It's okay to relax and get out there and just show that you're a regular human being but you're a regular human being showing respect for self and the public. Florinda, understandable, but in our culture, like real culture, we used to wear long, long dresses back and front only. We were way more than half naked. How do you explain that? Well, like I said, if that's acceptable in your culture, nobody can dispute that. No one can disrespect that. But when you enter another culture, that's a different thing. If you, revealing our, our body parts is not okay in many cultures. It's offensive to people. We should not be showing all of our goods, okay? But if it is in your culture, I understand that. But in other cultures, it's not acceptable. It's said to be disrespectful to the, for example, 
when we see our young men, especially in the American culture, here I see it in Florida all the time. When we see our young men with their pants under their rear end, that is so gross. I'm sorry. We don't need to see that. Okay? I usually ask them, I'm like, I'm sorry, can you pull up your pants? And they're like, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. And they pull up their pants and we're on our way. But I do ask them respectfully because they deserve respect as well. Because many times they weren't taught to be gentlemen. Okay? We have to keep that in mind. So you have to understand how to conduct yourself in different environments. All right, Annette, that's so very true. I feel bad when I see women underwear printing and sometimes they're not wearing the correct size. <laughs> it happens, it happens. Uh, Evelyn, that's exactly how I feel because always did as a teenager, dress respectfully. Absolutely, Ele Ev Evelyn. Stacy, your dress tells a man how to treat you. Absolutely. That's a big one. Manda, I'm always inspired with your tips. I'm from Zamb Zamb Zambia, but currently in Ethiopia. You're all over the place, girlfriend. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, Annette, that's true, Stacy. Yes. Valentino, how much I love you, ma'am. Oh, I love all of you all, too. You're so amazing. Susanna, hello, queen. Hello, queen. Back at you. Mina, love yours, Google. Okay, here's something I'm going to ask everybody to do. Please head over to my YouTube channel, From the Inside Out, School of Etiquette, and subscribe. I'm trying to accomplish something with my YouTube channel, and I need subscriptions to increase. So please head over to my YouTube channel and encourage your friends to do that and uh, click on subscribe and be notified, especially when I post videos. I recently hired a new person who is totally focused on my YouTube channel and I want you all to be abreast of everything that's coming through on my YouTube channel. So head over there please and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, Tashukwu, I hope I pronounced that right. Is it okay for a man to call to attention a girl that is having dress malfunction? I saw a lady seating and her undies were vividly revealing, mm -mm -mm. but I, a nurse, the fear of maybe her reaction because I can't tell if it was on purpose or a mistake. What should a man do in such a case? Absolutely not. A man should not approach her, especially if you have no relationship with her. She will definitely take offense and it may hurt her feelings. Even though she should not have her, uh, her, her goods being revealed, uh, you're just going to, a man should not approach a lady about a wardrobe malfunction unless you have some sort of relationship with her, unless you are actually sitting there with her and you're like, oops, oh, I think your dress is showing. Yeah, but a total stranger, absolutely not. Okay, you're just going to have to hope that she knows better the next time. We don't want to offend anyone. Mina, you're awesome. You're awesome too. E friends, you inspire me. Oh, thank you so much. All right, we're winding down. Just a couple more questions. Marlene, asking for a friend. <laughs> I get that, Marlene. So she's a mom of four young children. Her tummy looks as high as if she's pregnant. Slim guilt, but the gut area like spoils her physique. How can you help her look her best? Just go to her and say, hey girl, let's start working out together. I need an accountability partner and I think we can help each other. Let's go, because I need to lose some weight. Have it all on you or we. Never say, you need to, you need to, you, you've got to do this. Nope, of course, she will have a defense mechanism up. So Marlene, join the gang with her. Let's be accountable. I need to learn how to focus on working out. No matter what size we are, we all need to work out and stay fit. So be inclusive with her and encourage her and ask her to encourage you. That way you're not pointing her out, but you're on the road of helping her, okay? So do that. I think that will work. It always works. Winifred, I love you so much. Thank you, baby girl. All right. Um, 
Florinda, thank you. I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm learning a lot from you. I'm always on your YouTube channel. Fantastic. Thank you, Winifred. All right, ladies. So I'm about to wind down because I need to go my go and get my cauliflower rice. That's another thing. I'm going to buy my cauliflower rice. I love cauliflower rice because there's no carbs in it. The regular rice has a lot of carbs and the carbs just stops at your midsection. Yes, Marlene, you know what I'm talking about. It stops at the midsection. So I learned that cauliflower rice is so delicious if you cook it properly. So I saute all of my vegetables, like my onions, my bell peppers, my plum tomatoes. I saute it and season mm -hmm. that. And sometimes I throw in some red beans and I season all of that. And then I pour in the cauliflower, the grated cauliflower and stir it all mm -hmm. and season it all and stir it and make it so delicious. I don't even miss rice anymore. I'm so glad I found this substitute. So if you're looking for a substitute rice, go ahead and get some cauliflower rice. It can be already grated, or you can buy the big bulk of cauliflower and grater it to make rice. Yes. <laughs> the name of my YouTube, Tamika, YouTube channel is the name of the company. From the Inside Out School mm -hmm. of Etiquette. So before I wrap up, Marlene, I'm, I'll introduce her to cauliflower rice. <laughs> You're so funny, Marlene. Audacity. Love you. Yes. Okay. So head over to my website and register for our next online certification class. It's live. You will be interacting with me, laughing with me, chatting with me, start a relationship. And by the way, once you become a certified etiquette consultant, you have me as a lifetime mentor. You will also have my direct cell number because we'll be communicating via WhatsApp. So anywhere in the world you are, you can join our class because it's via Zoom. Interact with me. You will join our community page everything. Is your school in Florida? Yes, my school is in Florida, but of course I conduct virtual classes so people from anywhere in the world can join my class. And if you're in Florida, keep in mind we just reopened for on for in-person classes. So we're doing virtual and in-person classes, okay? All right, for Farida you're awesome. My daughter and I watched some of your videos. I love you already. That's awesome. Okay, I'm wrapping up, guys. Gotta go get my uh, my cauliflower rice because I'm going to eat cook up something really nice this evening and for the weekend. So I love you all. I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to head over to my YouTube channel to uh, subscribe so we can raise the number of subscribers because I want to accomplish something. Audacity, thank you for your videos. I'm really learning and learning a lot. All right, ladies, uh, connecting from Ghana. All right. Thank you so much. You all have a fabulous weekend. Be safe. Wear those masks. I wear my mask and my shield. I'm and I pray every day that God keeps that God keeps me COVID free. And I pray the same for all of you. Nadine, you are awesome. My mother taught me a lot too. She was big on etiquette. Awesome, girl in many thanks. All right, ladies and gents, thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. God bless you. Bye. Share this video, by the way. Share, share, share this video. Share this video because I want to make sure that we spread the word. Marcia Campbell, thank you. You're welcome, honey. Have a good night and good weekend. Bye.